Hi friends, welcome to Ohio Computer Academy. In the last video, we discussed different types of Tableau components. Today, we will discuss about the types of files in Tableau. In Tableau, we have eight different types of file. Let's see each one of them by opening the Tableau desktop application. Here is the desktop application and I have connected to the sample superstore data. And I have created some worksheets and dashboards using the orders table. So this is a workbook. Coming on to the first type of file that is Tableau workbook, TWB file. Workbook contains worksheets, dashboards, story and information about the data connection. When you save the file as .twb, it will not have any data but there will be a connection to the data source file. Users can view TWB files in Tableau server. To open TWB file, user should have access to the TWB file and the data source file or connection. To save this file as TWB file, click on file, go to the save as option and give a file name as whatever you want to give. Book 50 and save as type. Here select the TWB extension 1. So the file will be saved as TWB file tableau workbook file now clicking on save it has saved as book50.twb it is a tableau workbook which will have all the worksheets dashboards and everything and it will contains the data source connection information too coming on to the second type of file that is tableau package workbook twbx file it is a zip or a package file which contains workbook and data source files used for the workbook TWBX contains all the information like background images, maps, worksheets and dashboards. We can save the TWB file as .TWBX. TWBX files can be viewed and opened using Tableau Desktop, Tableau Server and Tableau Reader application. Now to save the same file as a TWBX, just go to the file, select as save as and instead of save as type TWB extension, Select the Tableau package workbook .twbx extension. Save as book 50. It has saved. Now this is a twbx file. Coming on to the third type of file that is Tableau data source file, TDS file. TDS file contains the data source connection information and the changes made to the metadata. The file will not have any data source, but it contains all the information relating to the modifications made to the fields, calculated fields, changes made to the default properties, groups, and so on. In Tableau Desktop, connect to the data source and to create a required transformation, if you want to make some changes to the metadata information and if you are changing some default properties to the fields, and creating some calculated fields before creating a worksheet. You will do all over here. And then after, if you want to save this data source with all this along with the meta uh, data changes and calculated fields, go on to the orders data source place, right click on it, select the add to save data source option. Now you can see the save as type that dot tds extension file option. And you can give the name, whatever the file name you want to give. It will be saved in my Tableau repository location in data sources folder. If you click save, it will be saved as the data source. So that this can be used by the other users uh, by opening, going to the data source location and selecting that data source. So that the complexity will be reduced for them because already the calculated fields, default properties or everything has been changed. So they will not see any uh, complexity in the data source. So they can create their own worksheets, uh, whatever they want to create. Coming on to the fourth type of file that is TDSX file, Tableau package data source file. It is just like a TDS file, but contains uh, an addition file that is data extract file, Tableau data extract file. TDSX is a zip file just like TWBX, but it will not have any worksheets or dashboards, but contains the data connection information and packaged with TDE file. You can save the same uh, like TDS file while saving the data source. Like right click on the orders table, data source, click on the add to save data source. 
same as type you, you can find the tableau package data source option also so the dot tda tdsx extension file right select that option and you can save the file with the tdsx extension so the advantage of using this tdsx file is that it comes with data so it can be used in offline mode too so now i'm saving it as uh, tdsx coming on to the fifth type that is uh, file is tableau data extracts it is the data extract file which can import a subset of data by using filters or the complete snapshot of data when you connect to a data source in tableau desktop application you will find two types of connections one is live and the other one is extract when you do the extract it can be a subset one or it can be a complete uh, data but it is a local copy that you will be created for your machine so if you select this connection as extract and if you you can add some filters if you want to do the subset of get the subset of data or you can have the complete set of data too and this will be uh, saved as .tde file now if i click on any other option going on to the any sheet it is creating the extract that whatever the tde file it has to do the uh, benefit of using .tde file is it is faster compared to the live connection and it improves the performance of uh, workbook so the tde file will contains all the underlying data of the data source now coming on to the sixth type of file that is tableau bookmark bookmarks can be used to save the individual worksheet of a workbook we can import this worksheet of one workbook into the other workbook which includes data connection formatting color coding etc the major benefit with bookmarks is reusability in a team if two or more developers are working on the same data they can merge all the worksheets to create a single workbook bookmarks include data connection visualizations and filters it will not include parameters now let's see with uh, to create one bookmark let's select this pie chart worksheet to create a bookmark go to the window now i want to save this uh, bookmark before doing that i will add some filters to this i am adding region filter select all so even this filters are included in it and create this bookmark create bookmark using and i am naming it as pie chart and it has to be uh, defaultly default one should be saved in my tablet repository in bookmarks folder so if you want to use it in other workbook surely and definitely it should be in my tableau repository location and it will be having an extension .tbm saving as pie chart bookmark so in the same worksheet workbook i am going to use this bookmark just going to the sheet 17 go to the window click on bookmark and select the pie chart one this bookmark it will come up with all the the sheet is created with filters whatever the one it required and all the color codes that it has so the major benefit with bookmark is like uh, it is a reusable one and if a team with working with two or more developers or working on same data they can merge all the worksheets uh, to create single workbook and if you don't save this bookmark in this uh, default my tableau repository location then it will not show up when you trying to use it or open it in the other workbook this is about the tableau bookmark file coming on to the seventh type of file that is tableau map source we say this uh, type of file when we load tableau with uh, images from wms server for plotting custom maps instead of default tableau maps tableau comes up with uh, default maps uh, but if you want to use uh, some other images from wms server you can import them and if you want to save them navigate to menu from there uh, select the map go to background images and you will be seeing the wms server from where you have the wms server connections that imported files you have used to create maps and select the uh, export and export the images and you can save them in uh, my tableau repository for sharing and future use 
this is about the TMS file coming on to the eighth type of file that is TPS Tableau preferences file Tableau provides multiple color palettes but in case if you have to create your own custom color palette use preferences.tps file uh, so that file you will be creating uh, outside the Tableau you will be creating in my Tableau repository it be going and if you open the my Tableau repository you will find that preferences file TPS file is used to create custom color code palette and color palette and to use them for consistent colors in Tableau the file is saved in my Tableau repository location this file is used to maintain standardized colors across our enterprise so you will use HTML color codes uh, and you will write a XML format coding to create a custom color palette and you will that will be de uh, displayed in the color palettes when you open a color option color legend option so this file is saved as dot tps file with the extension so this is all about types of files in tableau for more information on tab tableau please subscribe to this channel and for trainings on tableau sql quick click view and hyperion contact numbers is 6143980454 or email to hello at ohiocomputeracademy.com or you can visit the blog ohiocomputeracademy.com thank you